Hello YouTube, back once again with my film reviews, and the other day I saw the new film from the director of Ex Machina, Annihilation, and I liked Ex Machina, I thought it was a perfectly damn good uh, sci-fi film with some great acting and really thought-provoking ideas, but I, I didn't love it as much as a lot of people did, but let me just say this, Annihilation is just incredible. <laughs> extremely ill. You have to tell me where he was, what he was doing. It was his decision to go in. It's something they termed the Shimmer. So Annihilation, the ladies from the writer-director of uh, Ex Machina, I'm pretty sure this is his second film, and uh, part of this film, it's about a woman whose husband mysteriously went missing in action a year ago, who suddenly just appears at her house with no idea where he's been for the past year, and then she learns he was on a mission that brought him to the mysterious shimmer, a bizarre purple orb of light that no, no one goes in and out of, so she joins up with a group of scientists to go in and see if they can find what's causing this. That's the part of this movie. Let's get into the good and bad of this movie. Let me just say this, the cast in this film is just fantastic. Uh, for all the people who are yelling and won't stop moaning about how there's no good female representation film, you know, maybe if you don't let films like this bomb as much, there would be more, because this is a film that stars five females, they're all scientists, they're all all freaking awesome. The uh, it's uh, Natalie Portman, Jeffrey Jason Lee, Tessa Thompson, uh, Gia Rodriguez, and Tuva Hotney. I hope I'm saying that right. And they're all great. They're all in, they're all intelligent, capable uh, people. There's no real male actors in this film except for Oscar Isaac, and he's a pretty minor part. And, and like any good feminist piece, the thing that this film does um, with the the fact that it stars woman is the fact that it doesn't bring attention to the fact that it stars woman. It just happens to star woman. It's not like some like Ghostbusters in which they try to hide behind the fact that it stars woman. So when you call out for me a crappy film, they'll they can just try to argue that you're sexist. No, this is this does what's all like the Star Wars reboots do, or the new Star Wars films, or Jessica Jones, or Wonder Woman does it, which is just a film that stars women. They're all great. I have heard the argument they're bland. I would not say that. I'd say they're just much more broken and people. Like, you learn what's up with them as the film goes on. And I really, I cared when they all started dying off, and... And, like, they do feel very human, like, when they're in very, the, the, this insane situation, stuff, stuff, starts, stuff starts to get really intense, they start losing their mind, I fully understood why they were making the choices they did, like, I, I was like, you know, if I was in this situation, I don't know if I'd be able to keep a level added through all of this, and, uh, so the cast in this film is just great. Uh, this is, and this is just a visually striking film, uh, the inside of the shimmer, it's, it's one of those things, it's very pretty, like, it's very lush, like, it's very colorful, but it's also very creepy at the same time, because everything just feels somewhat off about it, like, everything just feels unnatural, and you do learn there's a reason for that later on in the film, but it's really effective in its imagery that way. And let me just say, this is a sci-fi film like no other. I can only describe this as this film sits somewhere between Arrival... 2001 A Space Odyssey and the original Alien, because it's a beautiful, thought-provoking, artistic film, and it's also completely horrifying at the same time. Like, this movie can be so creepy in a few scenes. There's one scene in particular that involves, a, involves like, a giant mutant creature with a, that isn't that what comes out of its mouth. I would just like, wow, this is hell. This is literally what must await you at the gates of hell is this goddamn monstrosity. And it was horrifying, and it all leads to a... An ending that just had me thinking about this film and li and what it all meant long after the credits rolled. So this is truly a fascinating uh, sci-fi film for the fact it's so creepy, it's so thought-provoking, and it's so artistic all at the same time. And if I had any negatives to give to this film, I would say my main issue with this film is the cast and not the uh, actors who play them, just the casting in the fact that... Like I said, this isn't a spoiler, they make it very clear from the word go that most of these characters are gonna die, and uh, let me just say this, the the, main, the five main actors, there's two Hollywood heavyweights with uh, Leigh and Portman, there is two beloved up-and-comers with Rodriguez and Thompson, and there's one actress I've never seen before in anything besides this, uh, with uh, Houghton 
take a wild guess for which order they die in. It's, uh, that's, that's my only real complaint. It's very easy to call the pecking order with this film, considering who plays who, and, uh, but that's a minor point. So to summarize my thoughts on Annihilation, the good cast is great, it's a visually striking film, and it is a sci-fi film like no other, and that's why I'm gonna give Annihilation a very solid 10 out of 10. I just love this movie. This is one of the most mesmerizing sci-fi films I've ever seen, and just note, though, this is not a film for everyone. If you're someone who needs constant action or you need answers for why everything's going on, skip this film because it's very slow-paced and... Like I said, this sits near somewhere near 2001 for the fact it's very up to, to interpretation in the end. You're not going to get some big grand uh, reveal like at the end of Arrival explaining everything that's going on and why. This is, this is very much left up to your imagination for what it all means in the end, so... Yeah, so, uh, so if you're one of those people, skip this film, but everyone else, I'd say, go see this. This is one of the best sci-fi films I've ever seen, and it was a huge bomb, and my, so my guess is it's going to be on Netflix in the next few weeks, because it's already on Netflix in every other country besides America, so... If you're at all interested in this film, I'd say definitely go uh, boot it up on the Netflix queue when it comes out, and because this is truly fantastic, and yeah, so YouTube, as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.